All right, guys, we're headed to town. Hoorah. I need to get up here before the bosses come down and try and grab me over here. Here we go. Okay, cool. Ha ha. Grocery time. Yay. I've decided to. I'm having ribs tonight. Barbecue ribs tonight. It's going to be really, really good. Or text boost to 511 511 and claim 40% off today. Every purchase comes with our 90 day money back guarantee. 511 morning change. These payments have not been evaluated. Alright, so since since I'm not sure what the storage facilities are like at the shop, I'm buying basically half what I would normally buy just to get me past the next week or so. Because uh, I fear it's probably going to take about a week before I can get into the shop. I've got a lot of stuff I need to get done so that it's all done right and everything. And then it gives me a nice home to come back to afterwards, you know. Thanks to y'all guys and all of your support, I don't have to worry as much as I used to. I just have to be more frugal so that I know that I'm making it ahead a little bit. That's what's going to be nice about hanging out with Michael and Tom. I save some money and then, you know, be able to put some money money in the bank and uh, we'll be good to go. There's the boss lady. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, I'm going to get back to shopping, guys. Dang, the little pizzas have been wiped out, guys. Yeah, and I'm not into one of these larger ones, really. I got my uh, I got my pot pies and my TV dinners. So that's cool. And I uh, talked to a really pretty girl here just from Agal House. Yeah. Take care, sir. So cool. What a community we've got here. Okay, I gotta grab the rest of my stuff and we'll get the heck out of here, guys. Oh, the smell of fresh baked donuts doesn't get much better than that. I think I'm going to go with a box of glazed. And much more is going to be decadence. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go with the glazed, guys. I got my TV dinners. I'll try and get this in here without messing it up. I got my TV dinners. They're all out of the little pizzas that I like, so I didn't get a larger pizza. For tonight, I got some ribs. They're those just throw in the oven. Uh, the guy I was talking to said these are really good though. So I gotta get a, uh, oh, sorry, that pitch. I've gotta grab a roasting pan. Uh, a couple more things. What else was it? I need some mouse traps, some plastic bags, and I think I'm going to call it good. Money saved in my pocket right now is going to be the best since I got enough food to tide me over for more than a week uh, until I figure out what I'm doing. Okay, I self-checkout. The place is really crowded. I think I got about everything I'm going to need. So I get back home. I'm going to start these ribs cooking, start getting the place cleaned up. I even got large trash bags. Because uh, it hit me, uh, Tom has a, a couple dumpsters there at the shop, so I can get rid of a lot of my trash and stuff there, I think. That's about it. I think we'll be headed for lunch probably after this. Oh, here we go. I'm open. Yeah. Alright guys, so we just got out of the store. We're headed down to grab us some lunch. 
That's gonna be so good. Uh, I'm thinking about getting a second hamburger or something and just take home with me tonight, and I could have that for dinner too. What's that? Oh yeah, I know. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Flamethrower, and can you use American cheese instead of the Swiss? Okay, you want uh, That's the one, yeah. This mustard, too. Thank you. How's your day going? Nice. Are oh, y'all seem busy? Yes, please. Excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you. This is your Yes, sir. I'll see you later. God bless you. All right, friends. It's, uh, I don't know, probably about 11 o'clock, I'm guessing. Trying to get things taken care of. I got to talk to Michael, uh, and everything is going good in town. I'm headed now to do a couple of my, my farm chores. I want to make sure that the place is taken care of while I'm away. Uh, so I'm going to haul in some, uh, some wood, some firewood over here. And then after that, I've got a couple more small chores to do. So we're just going to be using this wagon here to haul in some firewood uh, from over here where we, we keep it over on the other side of here. Oh, there's Caesar, she hears me. <laughs> Good girl, Caesar. Okay. You know, I ought to get me a wagon like this. I'd need to make the frame a little bit lighter. Cause as y'all guys know, everything that I do is like up mountain. So, but this is nice. And I'll bet in the summer it would probably roll even easier. Yeah. What I would do is keep the, uh, the bottom part there and then maybe redo the frame. Something aluminum maybe. Okay, so what I want to do, I just, this is my home, and I care so much about the, the people that I work for. Uh, I want to make sure that they have everything they need while I'm gone, and then I'll have my phone on constantly in case they need me. They'll know that they just call me, and I can drive right out and take care of anything. So we need to get this firewood done. I seem to think that there's something that... Something like this for the boss lady I need to take care of too. 
I'll ask her about it here in a little bit. So the house is a mess. It's taken a lot, uh, a lot of time to be able to get it clean. What I'm gonna do now, I'm not gonna worry about pulling anything else out of the cabinets or anything. I'm just going to fix what I have and then uh, put the place back together. Straighten up the knickknacks and then we're, we're off. I'm a little bit nervous uh, to tell you the truth. It's a good nervous, it's not like a bad nervous or anything. It's more excited, I guess. You know, because when I talked to Michael, he was telling me they've got a couple projects and everything and they're excited to get to hang out with me and all. So it's gonna be so cool. Okay, so we're moving some firewood from over there to over here. Then we're gonna use the wagon to take it over to the farmhouse or the main house. Yeah. And second thought, we're gonna get the wagon a little bit closer. I don't want to be throwing the firewood out onto the uh, snow like that, because it's gonna get covered in snow. And it's all nice and dry right now. That's one of the really good things about the gentleman that I work for. He's kind of shown me that I don't have to constantly gut through things and that if I put a little bit more thought into what I'm doing, I mean, I can still do it like crazy, you know, but a little bit more thought and I wind up with a better outcome. The thing about timber it uh it weighs a lot more than it seems you know like hauling water with water doesn't seem super heavy but it's one of the heaviest things that we can haul i'm wondering i think we're gonna make our own path here instead of following the road we're gonna make a new path straight through to the house I'm glad it snowed enough that we have a little bit of snow and that it isn't like just downpour, you know, just socked us in. Because it does help with that mental side of realizing that it's winter, you know. It's another thing, it's important during the winter and stuff to take vitamins. Like we get our vitamin D from the sun. So I always try and make sure I've got vitamin D and then a B complex. 
I know, right? I've tried not to have a complex in my life. Aha! However, a B complex is good for mood and stuff too. So I take a B complex multiple vitamin as well. I have to remember to grab those real quick. Maybe some vitamin C just to help my immune system. It used to be a milk house. So the cows would come in and it was where the milking stuff was and everything. And so from what I understand, they'd come in this side and then be moved through the house, milk somewhere in here, and then be let out back into the field because all this was dairy pasture and stuff before it was an orchard. It's got a beautiful history. Oh, I gotta get rid of that jug of milk too. Oh, yeah. Headed down to the quick stop. I want to get five gallons of fuel for Max. I might only get four, make it a little bit easier. Uh, I got some heat for the gas yesterday at Walmart. So that's good. That'll keep the gas from uh, from freezing, basically. And then, so gas doesn't actually freeze, just to be technical. It does kind of gel, though. So uh, I'm heading down to get some fuel and then See the ball laying down on here. <laughs> He's not even gonna be troubled to get up. Up oh, there he is. He's like, what's going on here? Look at the size of him. So guys, we're here in Loomis, and as I was walking, I noticed something really kind of cool. Look down there. Those are my footprints from the other day. I know it's not like I'm shocked or anything. I just think it's really cool uh, because I like doing this. I was just thinking, a mango. This is really like peaceful and calming, and it's such a good part of life to be able to just slow down, mellow a little bit, uh, go for a long walk. Hey, ha ha. Ah, I've got so many friends around here. Uh, okay, so when we get down here, I think, see, there isn't much ice out on the road, so it could wear through, it will wear through my sled and quite possibly the jug. So I've got to be sure that I'm walking on the snow on the way back. And to help with that, uh, I'm only going to get about three gallons of gas. Three gallons will get me back down to the station. That's all I need right now. And then I can get my charge account paid up too. This is the first time I've charged here since the, the store changed owners. And so I want to be like, you know, Johnny on the spot with it. I will be there soon. I just, I drool over that blue Chevy every time we pass. Isn't that nice? That is beautiful.
notice seems like a few people are playing catch up now that it's warmed a little bit notice a lot of my friends running out with uh, hay and stuff for the cows and all it's up to about eight degrees above now that's in fahrenheit look see there on the mountain or the the rock those are goats pretty cool i don't know if you can see them they blend in really well i didn't see them until i started moving personally that ah, looks like my buddy aaron's home Yeah, I'll just get my gas first. We might even eat here. Yeah, there he is. Hey, Aaron, how you doing, bro? You need to run tonight? Man, actually, if you aren't doing anything, that'd be cool. Yeah, I can be right. Man, appreciate it, brother. Uh, totally cool. Okay, so yeah, my buddy Aaron's gonna give me a ride back. He said, I right, once I get finished eating and everything, just come on over. Ah, totally cool. I was worried about the weight of the uh, the fuel. What are we on? 16. And the lack of snow and ice out here. So it's awesome to get a ride back. I'm gonna go ahead and get five gallons. That way I don't have to worry about. It. I'll have enough to idle max uh, later tonight. Oh crud, I've got a crack in my gas cap. Ah. Okay. Well, what I'm gonna have to do, I'll get a bag. I'll use the bag to seal the brake. Growing up as a kid, we never had anything that like worked or anything and the, the nozzle or the stopper was always missing in the five gallon jugs. And this was a long time ago, things were built differently. So what we do is just take a piece of plastic and put it across here and then screw the cap on. I'll show you here in a minute. I just don't want to leak gasoline all the way to the door. Yep, we're doing fine so far. Okay, I got my uh, house charge paid. Got a plastic bag for the broken uh, gas cap. And then once I'm done eating, we'll run over, see my buddy Aaron to get back to the farm. That'll put us ahead uh, of schedule as well because I've still got to get in, get all the trash gathered, my laundry ready to take to town. A uh, couple more things. Right now, it's lunch. <laughs> All right, that was really good chow. Okay, so what I do is I just put the plastic bag over the top like this. Okay, I think I cross-threaded it, but that'll be all right. I think I got a seal on it. Voila. Okay, we're good to go. If I can get my dang hand to work. All right, we're off. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna ride. Hoorah. Water froze up over there. He 
it's like, man, oh, cut, really? cut them over and take a shower. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I've got the you. I've got the water running in the little cabin right now, yeah. dude. It's more than a pencil worth, too. I morning, can't have it freeze. The other morning, I got five people on me in the same morning. Tell me really? Up, dude. Oh, dude. Yeah, was that when it was like 15 below, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's a good guy right there. Haha, <laughs> -ha, see ya! That guy has always been there for me. I actually, I met him in the middle of a blizzard when I first got Max, and Max died in front of the quick stop, right? There was nobody else in town. He came out, spent about 20 minutes, literally in a t-shirt with a screwdriver and a pair of pliers, trying to help me get my pickup truck started. Okay guys, so we got our fuel. I'm gonna get the the heat additive. We'll get in, Max. Uh, I still need to charge the battery. I should've hooked that up before we left. It's okay, I'm not worried about it. I wanna grab something. Let's see, what do I? Maybe some coffee. I think, yeah, that's what we'll do. I'm gonna grab a cup of coffee and then uh, we'll get to it from here on, guys. Hoorah. for it to kind of just stop snowing it looks like there might be more on the way uh saturday is supposed to be 40 degrees and raining though so i won't have to worry about the highway out there that'll be thawed off so what i'm gonna do right now is i'm gonna just shovel out the drive so that i can get max out of here when i take off 